All right, we're going to be going over the three fastest growing cities. They're absolutely incredible. You really want to stay tuned to the very end to catch our number one fastest growing city where your dollar is going to stretch. What's up, everybody? This is Jackson Ray Wilkie. And Jesse Ray Dow. And we are the Real Agent Now group right here in the Portland Metro. If this is your first time to this channel and you literally want to learn everything from Vancouver, Washington to Salem to the coast to Bend, make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. Honestly, we get, you know, 5, 10 reach outs every day from people moving and relocating here and we absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving, relocating anywhere in the Portland Metro, Vancouver, Salem, just anywhere here, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even send us that pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back with moving to the Portland Metro. So we're going to kick it off. We got three of them here that we're going to rip through. So I'm going to tee them up and Jesse's going to drive them out of the park. So obviously one that gets the most attention and I'll let you get into it is Lake Oswego. Why don't you tell us what it's like to live there, the pros, cons, everything. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the first and foremost, uh, most desired city that we always get when people contact us is living in Lake Oswego, even living locally it's a highly desirable area to live The You know, the main reasons that people love it is one is that, you know, it's, it's got water, you know, it's in the city, it's five miles from downtown Portland and you can live right on a nice, huge private lake. You know, a lot of the houses around the lake have lake easement access. You know, you can boat on the lake, you can kayak, you can uh, paddle board, you can swim, you can fish, you can do all those fun things. So there's a lot of great access. There's also the public river and, backing that up anyone can go in the lake for the most part uh going over across the street you can go down to what, what's it called george rogers park y yeah you can go down to george rogers park and there's a lot of amazing things to do down there you can go right down to the lamette river there's a lot of fishing there's jet boat tours there's boating you can go swimming down there uh, a lot of people get married down at that park picnics all sorts of fun stuff but then if you look over into downtown Lake Oswego, the walkability is just amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of different shops, restaurants. You got Salt and Straw, you got Holy Taco, you got La, Prov La Provence. Uh, Jeez, there's yeah. uh, uh, the Sea and Salt, whatever, the, the seafood ones, the French bakeries. Oh, yeah, Five Spice. You got... Um, Man, they even have beignets down there. So if you've ever been to uh, the, uh, what's that, Cafe du Monde there in, in New Orleans, they actually have that down on the strip there's thai restaurants there's literally everything plus brewskis there's a couple breweries right there stickman brewery definitely a lot to do yeah so one of the, my most favorite bakeries in all of portland is called nola's they have these amazing like jackson said beignets they put some powdered sugar on there you can get some beautiful tasty jams to dunk it in maybe some chocolates maybe some maple glazed bacon sauce you know the sky's the limit but then you've got domain serene and the Oregon Wine Reserve, which is a private wine storage locker. You can go in there, you can host events, you can have your friends come in there, join you. It's an amazing place to go. But then talking about, you know, activities and extracurriculars, you know, they have the farmer's market on the weekend, which is really cool, right down there in the center square. You got the Lake Oswego Golf Club, and you got Mountain Park and Tryon Creek. So lots of hiking, lots of activities to do. They got lots of great places to go shopping, whether it's new seasons, there's a Whole Foods right there in Bridgeport Village. Um, you got the amazing top of the notch world-class school systems with fantastic sports programs, whether it's swimming, lacrosse, golf, tennis, baseball, basketball, football, chess. There's lots of great things and lots of great sports activities for uh, children. So, um, you know, that's a lot of great reasons why Lake Oswego is highly desirable. You know, there's tons of old style homes in Lake Oswego on the lake. You know, your ranges can go anywhere from I'd say you could get a condo down there for if it's Lakeview, you're probably looking at six, seven hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. But houses go all the way up into the you know mid mid teen millions, you know, say fifteen million. Um, but you know, I'd say like for the most part, you can get a fantastic home in Lake Oswego for anywhere between eight hundred and one point two million, and have a very very great uh, lifestyle, have a fantastic home, have great walkability, and there's so much great old growth timber in there. And I think that's why a lot of people really love living in Lake Oswego. Plus you have that real home home style feel. 
you can get into Lake Grove, which is right next to Lake Oswego, for a little bit less. It's going to be like more timber, timbered uh, filled growth areas with lots of, you know, older style, mid-century modern ranch style homes that are probably going to be in that five, six hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollar range. But, you know, I have seen three bedroom, one bath homes down to the, you know, in the high 300s, maybe even like the mid 400 range. But, you know, it's going to be, a, you know, 10,000 or sorry, a 1000 square foot house in three beds, one bath. So it really just depends what you want. There's something for everyone. And it's one of the reasons that Lake Oswego is super desirable. Yep. And one of the fastest growing. Now, uh, real quick, we just want to touch on one thing before we go to the next one. Um, these are the fastest growing cities. So we're getting people like bombarding Lake Oswego, but there's not a lot of room to build in there. So what are they doing, you know, for new houses or to, to help these people are maybe some of the older generations moving out and new coming in. Yeah, absolutely. So what they're doing is there's a lot of like huge lots in Lake Oswego, you know? So what they're doing is they're just finding these houses with these massive lots and subdividing them and they're building new construction all over in Lake Oswego. So that's why you'll see a brand new construction house down there in first edition that's in the middle of downtown amongst all these, Mm. you know, older style homes. You know, there is a lot of regulations in Lake Oswego on exactly how you have to conform to the specific styles of the homes they want built down there. Also like with uh, landscaping and things like that. So, you know, I really love the way that they take care of the city and they make sure that everything is conforming. And that's another reason that they're able to um, subdivide and add a lot of um, a lot more infill there is because there are a lot of those huge lots still left in Lake Oswego. Yeah, so let's pivot from there. Um, Lake Oswego, the, the median home price is pretty high, but a lot of that is driven up from those lake houses that can be in the multi, multi millions. But there's a, you know, a little city to the south of there that is absolutely exploding right next to your old hometown. And that's West Lynn. Let's talk about what they get in West Lynn. Yeah, so West Lynn, it's it's a very, very mixed uh, type of city, you know, because there's a couple different parts of West Lynn, you know, there's the old downtown Willamette, West Lynn, which is at the bottom of the hill, you know, you got a lot of like uh, restaurants, you got the old uh, Main Street, so you got a lot of restaurants, shops, a uh, little bit of em- entertainment down there, you know, you got McMinimins Brewery, you got Ace Hardware, McDonald's, Starbucks, all that good stuff, uh, all your banking needs, there's an actual a huge park down there called Willamette Park, and they have a you know a boat ramp. They got docks to go swimming off the Willamette River once again, and lots of cool play- things to hang out with your family and do outdoor activities. Um, right across from Willamette Park, there's actually the uh, Portland or the Oregon Golf Club up on Pete's Mountain. So you talk about you getting up there on Pete's Mountain, you're talking about multi-million dollar luxury estates. And I'm not talking you know, I'm not talking 2,000, 3,000 square foot homes. I'm talking 5,000 plus uh, square foot homes on large acreage vineyards. <laughs> views of Mount Hood. <laughs> exactly. There's equestrian estates up there. So it's a really, really neat place to live. But going back down to the bottom part of Westland, and then you go back to the other side of the hill, up on the hillside there, you got more restaurants and shops and everything at the top of the hill. And that's where you're going to get like that more suburb living. Yep. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, suburb, very neighborhood like feeling, and it's all going to be on hills. And if you go a little bit further to the west, up through there, you're gonna get vineyards and real big um, acreage estates again. Not not massive homes, but just acreage uh, houses. So maybe it's like a house on one to four acres or five acres. And I see a lot of horse properties up there and whatnot. But then you could dip off the backside of um, Mount Hood, or sorry, you could dip off the backside of Westland, yep. down the backside of the hill uh, over towards Highway 43. And over there, you're gonna get a lot of condos again. You're gonna get a lot of older homes that are like up in the trees. And these are a lot of houses I see that look like tree tree fort house style homes. Um, it's really cool if you love like really like a really condensed forest fill with nice views of Mount Hood. But like I said, the houses are gonna be a little bit older. Um, you know, they can range anywhere from I'd say the 500,000 up into the, you know, close to the million dollar range. But they're gonna be a big and they're gonna be most likely a little bit older. Yeah, so real quick again, um, let's just talk about schools first of all westlands uh, i mean it's an amazing place and it's literally just south of lake oswego so it still puts you in the mix of everything but maybe just broadly jesse a four or five bedroom house in westland in a great area versus lake oswego maybe price differences and then are the schools right there too yeah i mean the schools are going to be really really good you know their athletic programs are great mm-hmm. the school like the westland high school is a little bit older um, it's one of the you know earlier adopted high schools around, but the programs are great. The elementary, junior high, high school is all great. Um, the programs are all fantastic. And I would say like the difference in housing prices 
are probably going to be, mm, you know, maybe a two hundred thousand dollar difference yep. in house pricing versus Lake Oswego. But the thing that I would say that you get with Lake Oswego versus Westland is, um, you know, Lake Oswego is a lot closer to downtown Portland, and it gets you a lot more closer to a lot of um, access points. Like if you're going to get into Selwood in Southeast Portland, you want to go over into the Southwest Portland and those types of communities. So where Lake Oswego butts up right next to Portland. Westland's a little bit further removed, which is why I think it's a little bit cheaper. Okay, so now we're going to get to the one that we were talking about at the beginning, and it is where if you want to stretch that dollar and literally get the most value and bang for your buck, this is definitely the fastest growing, and it's got a brand new high school. Sherwood, Oregon, let's talk about that. Yeah, Sherwood, Oregon is just an amazing community. You know, it's always rated in Forbes top, you know, small cities in America. And I think it's population around 40,000 people. You can get an amazing four bed, two and a half bath, two story home, 2,500 square foot for around 550 grand. Um, and that would be updated on a, you know, five, 6,000 square foot lot. But the, they're building that brand new high school up there. That's just incredible. It's gonna be the biggest high school in the state, most technologically advanced high school. A lot of people are moving out there because of that, but they are doing a lot of new construction out there. And one of the most uh, exciting things that I know that's coming up is this uh, development up there called Denali. And what it is, is it's uh, 3,500 square foot or larger modern homes on quarter acre lots. They're gonna be building 40 of them starting at 950 grand and working their way up. And some of these houses have views and they're super, super cool, man. It's a- uh... Walk me through one, man. Oh yeah, so if you were to walk walk through one, you're gonna show up to the house and you're gonna have those modern elevations and which means they're gonna have straight edge lines and sharp angular uh, style homes. Yep. You're gonna walk into a modern floor plan, which is gonna be open, very spacious. You're gonna see a lot of modern finishes, whether it's the hardwood floors, you know, quartz countertops, full height backsplash, stainless steel appliances. They're either probably gonna be using Bert uh, Bertazzoni uh, ovens or, you know, uh, GE packages, stainless steel fridge, ovens. Um, yeah, big uh, nine, 10 foot ceilings. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna have uh, high ceilings on all floors. Most of these houses will probably have daylight basements. Um, you know, they just don't skip. I mean, the, the bathrooms are impeccable, the laundry rooms, all the way down to the spare bedrooms and powder bathrooms. I've, I've lived in one of these houses. I used to work for the builder, uh, sold the builder's homes. I've sold many of them. It's a fantastic builder. And I would say, um, you know, if you get in early, you can pick out some of your finishes, but they only have uh, two houses being completed right now. The rest are, you know, scheduled off for the remainder of the time. So I'd say every time you can get into a development when it's brand new, it's always the best time because the prices are always just gonna consistently go up. So, you know, as they consistently sell more, the value of those homes are gonna go up. They're gonna raise the price per square foot. So house that you buy today, maybe next year is gonna cost you another, you know, $50,000. Yeah. So benefit and interest rates right now are super, super fantastic. Yeah, and I'll touch on that too, because, um Okay, it's a stretch. It's you know 40 minutes from downtown Portland, but that's what we're finding is a lot of our clients don't need to be downtown Portland. So now you're getting one of the most booming areas, but you're gonna get your space. So sub million dollars, you basically get this mansion on a giant lot with a brand new high school. I mean, that alone is going to increase values in that area incredibly, but you're still, you know, compared to the Lake O's and some of those areas, you're getting incredible value, but real quick, there is a neighborhood that that is bordering, touching, and it already has some resale in there. Why don't you touch, talk about that neighborhood? neighborhood of those big homes too. Yeah, exactly. And like what Jackson was saying about mansions up there at the Donnelly Estates, I mean, you're talking 3,500 to 4,500 square foot. So not these mega mansions right. that are 8,000 square feet, but up the road, there's a fantastic area called Parrot Mountain Estates. So these are where you're going to see these McMansions anywhere from 4,500 square feet to 10,000 square feet homes on one to two acre lots in a private gated community. We've sold a lot of houses up there. The only drawback of uh, Parrot Mountain Estates is that the schools are actually in the Newburgh School District. So if you live up there, you actually can't go to the Sherwood High School unless you apply, which I know for a fact right now, because I have friends in the district, is that with the brand new high school, they're allowing 40 people to apply to go to the new high school when it opens. And then every year they're gonna allow so many people to apply to be into that school. So I know that it's open right now and those 40 seats are not filled, but they probably will be in the near future. Um, but going back to the Parrot Mountain Estates, I mean, you're gonna have beautiful vineyard views, it's equestrian views. You're gonna have views of Mount Hood, St. Helens, Mount Rainier. Uh, it's just it's just a really, really cool place to live. There's a lot of wildlife, whether it's deer, elk, 
Um, you know, people always ask me if there's coyotes and bobcats up there. There's there's probably coyotes up there. I've never heard or yeah. seen a bobcat up there, but it's very safe uh, for everyone. And there's a lot of retirees up there. You know, there's houses with pools. There's a, every, almost every house has a master on the main, but just a really beautiful flat lot is very desirable. How big is that lot? Yeah, they're all one to two acres. Yep. So you get your acreage up there. Yep. Yeah, um, the houses range between, uh, I'd say, 900,000 all the way up to about 1.7 if you're looking for something, you know, full custom built home. Love it. These are just three of the top cities that are absolutely growing. Of course, you know, we got to figure out your lifestyle. It may not be the perfect area for you, but these are. So any information, any city, literally from Vancouver down to Salem, we cover it all. That's what we're here for. But the only way that we can help you, you got to reach out to us. You got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send us that pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to the Portland Metro. And until the next video, we'll catch you later. Yeah.